Oh snap, it's Dragon Bolt Festival. How do I know that? Because I don't have to work tomorrow. It's a holiday here in China. My school, where I work, y'all, some of y'all don't know, I work at a school. Um, anyway, they gave me this bucket. It's like a KFC, but it looks like a drum. Uh, I think drums are a part of Dragon Boat Festival. What do I know about Dragon Boat Festival? I have done a video about it before where we talk about Zongzi and why you eat Zongzi. It has to do with Chu Yuan, uh, a famous like politician, poet, dude who killed himself, as legend has it. But uh, anyway, you can watch another video about that. This, I'm just going to tell you how we celebrate around here. Um, there's Dragon Boat races. Never seen one, never competed in one, but I've heard they happen. Uh, what else is there? There's um, Zongzi, obviously. We eat Zongzi, which is, I guess, what this is. And I think there's, like, drum shows. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get up, get, bang the drum. Um, these are from the... Oh, oh, look. The bottom of this thing has all kind of information about what's in it. Let me see. We got... Oh, it looks like that. <laughs> I know how to read Chinese. I knew that was upside straight out the Straight out the box. Let's check it out. Unboxing. Okay. So these guys, these uh, silver things, these are zongzi. And we also got some mooncakes. Even though it's not really time for mooncakes, what do we got here? We got dosha. This is, uh, this is the red bean paste filling. So I don't like this. Uh, but what else we got here? Mm-hmm. Hey, Jima. Black sesame. That's how I roll. I like the but This is also red bean. So we got one black sesame, one red bean, two red beans. Oh, there's another one. Three red bean paste. Got shafted on the, shafted on the moon cakes. But uh, okay, so these zongs are dao. Um, hong something something. Not sure what's in that one. Okay, this is do, Hong Do. This is red bean also. So red bean, probably red bean and date. That's a common uh, filling. So zongzi can be sweet or they can be savory. I like the savory ones. Um, I've opened it. The smell is unpleasant. I'm not gonna lie. It's like a. I should set this in. Oh yeah. All right. Oh shoot. Where'd the one I open? It wasn't this one. Yeah. This one. Yeah, you know this. Mm hmm Okay. I couldn't read this, but I know for sure it's red bean or red date because I can smell it. I can smell the red date. Uh so you got these silver things and on the inside you got your traditional looking zongza wrapped up in the leaf. Uh it's got the tie around it here. Just gonna, wasn't tied very well. Let's unwrap it. What I want to know is if these are pre-cooked. I think that they are. Otherwise, why would it be in the tin foil? Let's see. You peel off this leaf here. Oh yeah, these have been cooked. Then it's kind of like a tamale. If a tamale was made with sticky rice, uh, and that's it. That's your zongza right there. It's like a tamale, sticky rice tamale joint. Now, I'm sure you should heat this back up. Like, I don't think you can just um, eat it without heating it back up. Yeah, that's real chalky. That's real chalky. You're definitely supposed to, supposed to boil these some. There's no directions. I think I'm just supposed to know that. If you ever get a pre-packaged zongza, you should boil it because this is not edible right now. It's very, uh, it's like kind of like dehydrated. This should be really soft. It's not. Happy Dragon Boat.